but I was going to ask you, Lauren, um, what's so far in your acting career, what character have you played that's resonated the most with you? Um, I think right now I'm just thinking of like the most recent example. It's, um, I'm part of like, she actually wrote the part kind of for me, which is, I don't know why, but probably is why it resonates with me, but it's about a girl. She's half black, half Japanese, and she works in this restaurant. It's kind of like a like murder crime thing, but I just really liked that it showed like the mixed person instead of like having just one social identity of being able to like have multiple and like showcase that. So that's why it resonated with me. Cool. So what are some of the things about being like biculture, I mean, right, biracial that um, that you get to like explore in this film? Well, I actually get to speak Japanese in it, um, which is cool. A little nerve wracking because I like I'm hoping I pronounce everything right. Um, but yeah, I get to wear like uh, yukatas. It's like a traditional like Japanese outfit. And uh, we work in like a traditional like restaurant and everything and we're filming at the Japanese friendship garden I don't know if you know where that is but yeah it's really like cultural and I really like exploring that part of myself also awesome so do you think that in your career are, do you want to have more of those roles is that like the kind of stuff you want to get into I would like to but I know it's like kind of rare so if it comes yeah I've heard other people talk about how uh, biracial characters are not really like present in play. And well, I've heard it mostly from the play perspective because that's mostly what mm -hmm. I do. Um, and so, you know, it's interesting. Like, I, I think that there's there are probably going to be more biracial roles because mm -hmm. I, it's something that I, I hadn't, it's more of a recent thing. So it's, it's pretty cool. I hope that there are more of those. Yeah. So see, that's this is a really good segue to me because as a writer, I like to think about those things, right? I like to think about the different types of actors that are that are around, and um, you know, I think my place as an artist, like I, 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 because I'm an immigrant, I think place is really important to me, and I end up writing about the place that I'm living in, and I think that you know, here in where I'm at in Tucson, um, I recently just came, came, I had a, a week long workshop development experience of my play, Pilar and Paloma, and it's set in the Sonoran Desert on Tohono Autumn land. When we first read the play and everybody gives their impressions, you know, a lot of what I heard from both the Latinx um, actors and the indigenous actors, that it was their story, you know? It was like people understood it, like people, and they had fun playing it, and because so men, and because they said, you know, a lot of the times they don't get to, as actors, they don't get to play the roles that really speak to them or they get minor roles, you know? And so this time the whole play was about them and the whole, the whole, like they, they were center stage. Um, and so I think about that as, as a playwright, you know, because when I was a little girl, I didn't see myself reflected. And so I thought of that, that I didn't have any history. And I thought that I didn't have a story worth, worth telling and how that affected my life, you know, that made, that affected my life tremendously. And I think I made a lot of terrible choices because I didn't have a, a sense of pride of, of who I am as a Salvadoran American. And so it's taken me a long time to learn, um, to be proud of who I am and to write fearlessly about who I am. Um, so that's, you know, I think that's my place. That's my place as a writer and that's how my culture impacts me.